Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a long term test review of pedals. So I've got the Crank Brothers Stamp 11 here and I've got the other pedal I use which is the Superstar Component Nano Evo. So they are both kind of enduro pedals, obviously clipless um, platform pedals. They've got about the same 10 10 centimeter by 11 centimeter, so what 110 by 111, whatever mil bodies. Um, use the pins. They've both got titanium axles, and they've both got, I believe, aluminium bodies. So this is possibly the most expensive pedal you can buy. Is the Stamp 11 retails for about 320 to 330. And in the sale, you can often buy it for about 240, which is what I paid. The Nano Evo. Um, that is normally about 100. I think it's about 146 pounds with the TI axles with standard steel pins, um, but you can often get it in a sale for about 86 pounds. So, big price difference between these at retail and also typical discounts you see. Now, is this mega expensive pedal worth it, and is it better than something like the Nano Evo? So let's start with what I like about the Stamp 11 and one of the reasons why I bought it. It is again one of the thinnest pedals on the market so when it comes to pedal strikes and we've got less chance of getting a pedal strike from using these pedals. They are super light, they are super grippy and they are easy to service. You undo these two screws uh, sorry screws, uh, undo these two hex bolts and the axle just slides out and then you can re-grease it. Um, now let's compare that to the Nano Evo. So the Nano Evo is a wider pedal. When I measured it it's a bit difficult but the widest point I think this is about 18mm. Um, the Crank Brother a stamp 11 is about it was about 15 16 ish mil. Hard to hard to measure um, accurately because, especially with these crank brothers pedal being sloped. So, this pedal is really good. So, let's talk about some pros of this pedal. So, the first one is this has bottom loading pins, which means that the pins are solid. As you can see, they're not worn down at all. And this pedal has been, been in use long enough for about four years. Um, so with having them bottom loading, it means that you're not going to chew the threads. And then the pins can actually be solid. So you can see they haven't worn down at all. Plenty of grip left in them. When you compare that to the Crank Brothers, I said these have done about 14, I don't know, 18 months on the e-bike. As you can see, the pins are severely worn. And I'm now struggling to replace them because the hex head is either deformed or no longer there. So with this pedal you really need to keep an eye on the pins and replace them when they get worn. I'm going to have to probably hammer a screw or a flat blade in there and try and undo them. The other thing I do not like about these is they have been serviced about six times. And what happens is the lube in here, I don't know, it goes off or it, it, it gets thinner or it gets washed out from, from riding in the rain. But you get a lot of hard show here because I've just serviced it, which is sort of me. You do get a lot of up and down movement. And what that translates to is not a wobbly pedal, but it translates to a crunching noise when you put pressure on the pedal. I mean, everyone's been in that situation where they've been riding a bike and there's been crunching coming from... The bike on every pedal stroke and it sounds like is it the bottom bracket is it my cranks and you pretty much start there so i've now learned that when it starts creaking i know it's these pedals and they need a service so that isn't particularly great considering this pedal is so expensive the other thing i don't like is this grease port here i've never known anyone be able to undo that soft screw without rounding it so i ignore that grease port and i service them by undoing the two allen bolts take it out grease it up slide it back in so that is a problem um, as I mentioned these to service these what you do is you un, un, um, hex key that so you undo that and then inside you've got a nut you undo the nut so you need a long I think it's 11mm or 10mm socket bit to get in there undo the nut and then it slides out 
now these have never been serviced because I've just never got around to getting that um, that socket bit but after four years these things rotate absolutely fine and I've got absolutely no play in them whatsoever absolutely solid as I mentioned these start building up play so spin wise because I've just greased them they're going to be a little bit stiff spin just as freely so definitely higher maintenance more difficult to replace the pins than like a mid-range pedal like a superstar components there are other pedal pedals on the market that use this bottom pin system you don't have to go for superstar components if you like that um, I think some of the like newt proof do that what I like about this pedal is these are pretty much identical in the point of view of like I said platform um, capabilities but I just think you get a lot more value for your money with the Nano Evo. Now with the Crank Brother Stamp 11 being top of the range pedal, being mega expensive, let's see how it weighs because obviously weight's going to be a big factor in the pedal. So get that to zero, the scales. 164 grams per pedal. I should actually add a few grams on, shouldn't I, for the worn down pins? <laughs> because the Superstar components, all the pins are in good condition. 182, 184, so really you're talking about the weight of a Mars bar in your pocket per pedal. Um, so weight wise, against like a, a decent TI axle, other other manufacturer's pedal, there is not a lot in it weight wise. Like I said, stick two Mars bars in your pocket with these pedals on, you, you, you've added the, the weight. So, yep, they are slightly thinner and the main reason why I went for them was I've got the Kinevo SL and my idea was on a mission to make it as light as possible, so I was trying to shave every gram. I would recommend going for the, the, the lower cost um, stamp if you're trying to avoid pedal strikes because the body's the same, it just uses a, I think it's like a steel axle so it's a bit heavier. So my recommendation is if you're looking for the pedal, you like this style, you want to avoid pedal strikes, you want something that's uber thin, go for this but go for, I think is it the stamp, I want to say stamp 8, I might be wrong on the number but you can you can google it and figure out the one I'm talking about um, so that gives you the low profile if you're not so bothered about the lower profile and you want something that's really low maintenance really easy to change the pins you want a light lightish pedal um, you're not bothered about the the width for pedal strikes I would advise you go for something like the Superstar Nano and the